Half of all people with jobs don't like going to work. The Gallup poll found that 48% of workers are disengaged when it comes to their job. And one local expert said it doesn't have to be that way and that companies can do more. <laughs> I'm trying to explain to corporate Rochester that there are tools that are at your disposal that you can use to motivate your people. And you know, the goal is to not get rid of them. Your goal is to grow them and have them be excited. And then your revenue and your profits are going to go up. Andrew Harrison's a former salesman turned motivational speaker who addressed a group of human resource managers. He says companies have a stake in finding ways to motivate the workforce because motivated workers are more productive which in turn makes more money for the business fewer of us do according to a new study our news reporter Seth for he spoke with one expert who's trying to show businesses that it doesn't have to be that way for me that's probably the greatest job in the world it's just the kind of thing your boss loves to hear oh yes i do love my job job satisfaction comes easily for mail carrier antonio anisette Every job I've done, I put myself on it in 100% and I always love my job no matter what it is. like it. Ken Carl feels the same way about his job. Do something different every day, never the same thing. Work hard. According to a recent survey, those two are nearly in the minority. A Gallup poll says 48% of employees do not like going to work. I work for fast food places, restaurants and they, you just can't you can't live off a hundred dollars a week lack of motivation for many reasons getting up in the morning going to work long hours the usual things that uh, make people want to quit just the basic lies and deceit the survey concludes the lack of productivity from disengaged workers costs U.S. companies billions. Aside from the fact that half of us get up in the morning and don't even want to go to work, according to the survey, one in five people actively seeks a new job on a weekly basis. And according to that survey, three in five say they'll have a new job by next year. The trend isn't going in the direction that we would like it to go. Fernand Sapero is vice president of HR for the YMCA. He believes the current corporate climate plays a role. There's so much focus on, on, on cutbacks and, uh, and uh, loss of uh, funding for particular organizations where there's no focus that's being placed on the employees that are staying your top performers. If you don't like your job, you're going to quit and you're going to go somewhere else. Or what it, I think is worse, you're going to quit and you're going to stay. Andrew Harrison's mission is to help local companies help their employees keep or even find passion for their jobs. I was trying to explain to corporate Rochester that there are tools that are at your disposal that you can use to motivate your people. And you know, the goal is to not get rid of them. Your goal is to grow them and have them be excited. And then your revenue and your profits are going to go up. Harrison says bosses have to deal with those just collecting a paycheck, reward those who work hard, and try and motivate the rest. The economy is tough right now, and companies are trying to figure out ways to make money. Well, you make money by having good people and people that produce more. If you like what you're doing, productivity goes up, quality goes up. A simple solution to what companies say is a growing problem. Seth Voorhees, R News.